Do you like searching and finding old pennies like I do? Well, stay tuned. I got a box of pennies and we're going to look for some wheat cents. Hey collectors, thanks for watching. I'm the collector of coins and that's right. I got a box of pennies and we're gonna look for some wheat cents and anything else that's interesting. I got my coin roll hunting mat that lists all the different varieties of coins to look for across all the different denominations. But we're focusing on a penny coin hunt today. And so this is what we're gonna be looking for. Any of these key and semi-key dates and any of these varieties. If you want one of these mats, take a look at the description below. There's a link to my Amazon store where you can get one. That being said, I got an unopened box of pennies right here. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna start looking for some wheat pennies. And as I do that, why don't you uh, give a subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to my channel. Give us a thumbs up, always appreciate the support. Uh, make sure you turn on notifications and here we go. We got the box open and I see a lot of copper cents, so hopefully this is a good sign that this will be a good hunt. All right, we'll get started with one of these rolls, and I'll bring you in as soon as we have a wheat scent find. Hopefully we will. Hey, we found our first wheat scent. This is from 1940. Not in bad shape, and this came out of roll number four. Okay, we got two finds that came out of roll nine. A 1966 Canadian scent. I'm pretty sure we have this in my album, but we will check at the end anyway. Really dinged up wheat scent. Uh, 1957 out of Denver, but it's definitely seen better days. Roll 11 had another wheat penny. 1944, Philadelphia. We have our fourth wheat scent, and this comes out of roll 15. 1950, Philadelphia. Now this is a find. This one comes out of roll 16, and it's quite old. 1920. Wow. I love finding wheat scents from the 20s and earlier. You don't come across them all that often, but that is really cool. Over 100 years old. Hey, collectors, we're going through roll 17, and we just had an incredible find. Look at that. This is a semi key date, 1922 out of Denver. 7 million minted. This is in pretty decent shape. I would say this is worth close to $20. That's an awesome find. And maybe one of the best wheat scent finds in a while. And there you go. You can see it underneath the microscope. 1922 out of Denver. Not the weak D. and Not the no D. But still a special scent nonetheless. We're going to put this in the flip. And we're going to move on. Wow, awesome find. All right, we have another weed scent. This one comes out of roll 19, a 1956 out of Denver. We have two more coming out of roll 20 for a grand total of nine. These two are from the 40s, 1942 and 1946, both from Philadelphia. Roll 22 gives us a 1942 from Denver. Our 11th weed penny of the hunt comes out of roll 30. It's 1958 from Denver. I want to talk a little more about this 1922D that we found earlier this hunt. Uh, it is definitely a semi-key date. Uh, 7 million minted, which is fairly low mintage. However, in 1922, they only struck Lincoln cents out of the Denver Mint. None were struck in Philadelphia or San Francisco. And there's a, uh, a even rarer version of this where... It has a weak D, or it's missing a D altogether. And though that's an error variety, um, which is incredibly valuable and incredibly difficult to come by. Here you go, no D or weak D. Um, this is definitely not a weak D in my opinion, because it's clear um, and it's a pretty nice strike. But this is a terrific find. I just wanted to give you a little more information about the 1922 Denver Minted Lincoln Scent. Hey, we got another old one, 1929. This comes out of roll 33. This one looks like it's from Philadelphia. We'll put this underneath our microscope. And it is from Philadelphia. Pretty cool. Roll 36 gives us a few more finds. A 2005 Canadian scent, which we'll check the albums at the end if we need. Two more wheat scents. 
We got a 1956 out of Denver and a 1957 out of Denver. We also found this 1969 from San Francisco, which we have a double die obverse variety to look for. So we'll put that underneath the microscope. Hang on. All right, and here's that 1969 under S underneath the microscope. There would be doubling on the date and they would be doubling on the legend in God we trust think in Liberty as well, but we're not seeing it on this one. So we just have a regular 1969 San Francisco. We got another penny from the twenties. In fact, 1920, this comes out of roll 39. 1920 Philadelphia, pretty rough shape though. Roll 41 gives us a 1941 from Philadelphia. Well, we have a damaged wheat set coming out of roll 42. Someone definitely took a grinder to this. And you see the original sheen of the uh, copper. It's too bad it's damaged, but it's still a wheat scent. So we'll pull it out of circulation. We have another penny over 100 years old. This comes out of roll 47, and it's from 1919. Philadelphia. Pretty good box. All right. We've searched all 50 rolls, and here is a recap. This is a pretty good hunt. One from the teens. One, two, three, four from the 20s, including this. Semi key date 1922. We got six from the 40s, seven from the 50s, a couple Canadians that we're going to look um, in my album to see if we need to fill any empty spaces, and a couple of side finds that were in pretty nice shape that I'll flip up. All right, oh, collectors, uh, that's a wrap. I'll pull you in at the end um, if we do have any finds. If not, let me just say, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, happy collecting. That was an amazing find.